And what we ended up finding out after eight years of Obama's presidency is there was nothing about the Obama bundle that was beneficial to black people. Last week, I talked about, yeah, that, that's Barack Obama during his presidency after he legalized gay marriage. Newsweek hailed him, hailed him as the first gay president. And last week, <clears throat> I was telling you all about what I call the Obama bundle. It's like a cable bundle. You can't just buy one channel, you get a bundle. You get all these other channels that uh, you may or may not use. You just wanted ESPN, you just wanted sports, but you gotta buy Lifetime and A&E and all these other channels, MTV, that you may never click on, but they're part of the bundle. And so what America thought it was getting with Barack Obama, the first gay president according to Newsweek, they thought they were getting BET, Black Entertainment Television. They thought, oh, look how, look how uh, unracist I am. I bought the BET Barack Obama bundle. And so white liberals just, oh, this is a chance for me to prove I'm not racist. And I bought the BET bundle. And black people, uh, caught up in race idolatry. Oh, black president, we free at last, free at last. I got BET and everybody got BET. And what we ended up finding out after eight years of Obama's presidency is there was nothing about the Obama bundle that was beneficial to black people. You didn't actually get BET. The channel that you got, and Newsweek pointed it out, put him, this was back when Newsweek was a powerful magazine, and magazines still mattered to some degree back then. They told you what you got. You got the LGBTQIA plus channel. That's the real bundle. That's the real network that you bought, the Alphabet Mafia. That is his legacy. Just like Lincoln's legacy is he freed the slaves, Obama's legacy is he freed the gays. That's just a fact. And so this sounds like I have this great animus towards the LGBT community. I'm sorry, I do not. I don't have great animus for them. I just don't. I just happen to think some of their lifestyle choices mirror my own sinful lifestyle choices. I don't think their lifestyle choices are healthy. Just like my sexual promiscuity, I don't think it was healthy. My gluttony, I don't think is healthy. And so all I'm saying is that Barack Obama's real agenda, real legacy, was about the LGBTQ. And so those of you that thought you bought the BET package didn't get black entertainment television, what you got was where we're at today. His legacy lives on.